Okay. Here we are. So there's all these different ways to get old through holes out. And one of them is, like everything else, when this is all, you know, inaccessible on the back side and it's glued in and shop rates are super high, a couple bucks a minute. One thing we can do is if you have a, a big enough step bit like this is from the outside where it's easy to get to, you can knock off the head of most of these through hole penetrations to replace them. So it's all about being fast. So now obviously if it's a big through hole, you're gonna need a really big step bit or I'll show you later on in the video, you can actually use a hole saw because um, most of us have plenty of hole saws. So watch this. And then. Boom. End comes off. Push the through hole in the inside of the boat. This is clean. It's done. Ready to order a new one. Don't worry about destroying these things. They're four bucks or something. If you're replacing the hose or whatever you have to do, step bit, great way to go. Okay, so this is the best way to disassemble a through hole. You have space, the nut actually comes loose, and you can hold it on the outside with a tool. Perfect doesn't always work that way so the tech tip for using a step bit that's great um, but we wanted to try and save and reuse these bronze through hulls the plastics were all shot and being replaced anyways but it doesn't always work that way so the first one came out nice and easy and then we got to the second one which luckily had access and there's the foot power it helps well sort of we got half of it out um, and then it just got stuck. So we're gonna cover the other ways, hand power, foot power, step bits, and then ultimately a hole saw, so some destructive methods. The inside. Gotcha. Okay. That's the hard part, is getting a good angle where you can... Okay, we're gonna try and bust the nut loose. Right, can you get your foot on it? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. Let's see. Uh, do you think, I wonder if we can come back up, you think? Mm, it'll be right where these things are. Okay. I would try and put my heel on it, if you can, to oh, start with. Seriously. <sighs> this is not looking as easy as before. Uh, not exactly. Just like that, cut the nut off, save some time. Then all they had to do, they still had to break the sealant loose. So there's our removal, our tool to hold, and it actually works to break the seal to spin this through hull and remove it out of King's Pride. And just like that, we got that one out. And, and that's the exhaust, it'll actually end up being bigger. So that one is no good after cutting the nut off though. All right, okay. welcome class. So here we are on Kevin's DeFever, and uh, I've been working him through this new through hole replacement. Unfortunately, uh, life was busy and I couldn't get to help him other than uh, back in the shop when he kept coming for more parts and tools and things. So his old through hole was seized up and it really wasn't working well. The handle was all sloppy and, you know, so he scheduled regular haul out and said, I'm going to have to replace this. And so he got in here and, and started replacing and uh, first thing is, you know, he had a pretty big monkey wrench and he said he thought it was giant and come to find out it's medium sized because it wasn't big enough to do his through haul work, okay? So he then um, was working on it and, uh, you know, got himself a regular old pipe wrench here and that didn't work. And so 
lent him one of these. This, that angle, right? It's all about having the right tools when you're working on boats. So this was a lot easier to get in. You notice how tight this location was, right? Well, and then it come to find out he wanted, he needed two. So he took another one of his pipe wrenches there and just whacked off the end because it had to fit up into that space. Okay, so making tools, something we do at Marine Tech in our world here. So uh, the trouble was he got the new valve and he started taking it apart and we told him to hold it, but it was old and stuck. And so the through hole moved, you know, he wanted to leave it. And so he called me up and says, Hey Mike, uh, how much of movement matters? You know? And I said, well, any, and he goes, well, it only turned a little ways. You know, how much is it going to leak? And I'm like, Oh, it's going to leak for sure. So Kevin, you need to replace the whole through hole now, not just the valve. So he went and, you know, this is how a, a couple hour project turns into two days, right? So you go to and pick up a new through hull, new bronze mushroom vent. But the problem was that nut way down at the bottom uh, where all this 5200 is now. I told him he apparently didn't want it to leak. And so he put plenty of 5200 down in there. Check that out. So, um, <clears throat> but he couldn't get down in here and hold the nut. And of course, it, you know, it's a 1970 something boat and original equipment probably it was stuck so i'm like you're going at it wrong just go to the outside and drill the mushroom head off and then you can push pull it inside of the boat and you can start fresh with all your new stuff and he's like oh that's a really good idea so he uh, he did that and he got the new one in and, and the valve but he couldn't put the elbow on then and so he got his 5200 everywhere and didn't clean it up but uh he got this um elbow on and then the handle was hitting see if you notice it stopped in a different orientation when it was good and tight and you know i said well don't back it off that's usually bad for pipe threads right so um i'm like it's just a handle right you can still maneuver it so he took the handle took a grinder and, and cut it off and um and then now you can open and close it everything's good and tight and not leaking except when he put it in the water it was leaking and so he called me in a panic um the you know he's tied up to the dock the travel lift is left and I'm like where's it leaking from he thought it was leaking down below i showed him got a paper towel anyways it was up it was up above the valve and i said well close the valve so he closes the valve like this and he goes it's still leaking I'm like well of course it's still leaking water line is way up here this is all full of water till that water drains out it's not going to stop leaking well come to find out it's because this is hooked to his sanitation system. He's got one of his treating stores, and this is the overboard discharge for it. Well, he reused this nasty old hose, and some of these are looking a little long in the tooth, but they probably have some smell coming out of them. But the trouble is, you're tightening a hose clamp like this, especially on used sanitation hose with a screwdriver, no deal. So I said, get a ratchet and a 5 16 socket on there, or better yet, even warm it up just a mm -hmm. little bit. And he did. And of course it's sealed up beautifully. It hasn't leaked a drop since. So we're gonna go back to the shop because I wanna show you um, this whole idea of how did he get the through hull out um, without getting that nut off. And uh, it saved him a lot of time and frustration. And so that's it for down here. This is awful cramped. So I'm gonna go to the workshop and we're gonna show you how to um, actually remove a through hull in this particular situation. Let's go. Okay, so here we are back at the shop. Set up a little demo for you. We've got the uh, bronze through hole just about like what Kevin had. And remember on his, it was a bulkhead right here, right? And it was super tight. He could not get down in there to get any kind of a wrench on that nut to get this through hole out. And remember it had turned. We knew the sealant had been, you know, the seal had been broken. We knew it was probably gonna leak, so I advised him you know what, you really need to replace that. Now, he was on a time crunch. Boat owners do this all the time. They got a schedule to meet. They only got a couple of days. They got to paint the boat, change a valve. It's going back in the water, right? Ideally, um, if you want to do it right, he really should put in a true seacock, right? Something that is bolted and flanged in. This is ideally what we would have done, but that would have required more work and more time than Kevin had. So he's gonna replace it with what has worked since obviously he said I think it was a 1971 boat. So he's gonna be okay. So in order to do this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a hole saw, right? That matches the diameter of the through hole. 
And the idea is we need to just drill off the mushroom part. Once we drill off the mushroom part, we can pull everything inside and that way we won't have to worry about getting into that super cramped space, no wrenches fit, right? Just simple, get it done. So all you gotta do is get a little measurement on how wide your through haul is and then go over to the bandsaw, chop it up and make a little, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because all we're looking for is something to center to hold the hole saw. So scrap piece of wood, you could use more than one piece of wood. We're gonna get this in here. And then we're gonna just cut it off flush. Okay, we got it cut off flush. Now we can take and we are gonna need a center, approximate center of this thing. We wanna be relatively close. All right, so here we are. We're gonna, while I'm, you, what I'm using here is a, a bimetal uh, hole saw. It's the right size. And as you're drilling, as long as you're nice and centered, you should have no worries. You can just run this thing right in. You do wanna make sure and keep an eye on it you, and stop a couple times to see where, where you're at. Bronze is soft, cuts really easy. Uh, you don't even, don't need to go too fast. And then you can see I stop in there. I can see if you are a little bit off center, you don't want to drill through the hallway crooked. So make sure that you are centered on there. And remember the hole saw is the same size as the threads, which is the size of the hole that's in your boat already. But keep an eye on it and you see it cuts pretty easy. And then just like that, probably say we took and bored the head of this off, boom inside of the boat you pull it off it's super easy you throw that away now you got your hole cleaned up prep your surface and we'll go through the steps of reinstalling the new through hole just like that a couple of minutes the amount of time he would have spent inside of the boat and he, he already did he was so frustrated right you know several hours trip but one trip to marine tech all he needed was this little tip tip that you know, tech tips like this, right? A quick piece of wood, pound it in the middle, drill it off, boom, that's the thing. We gotta make our work efficient, we gotta be professionals. So let's get a, show you how a new through haul goes in here and um, we'll be done for today. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, I have an old through haul here, obviously, not a brand new one, but We've got, went through that process and the work. We've got the old one out. We're gonna reinstall the new one. Okay, a couple of key points. When you're installing something uh, below waterline, uh, you noticed it when we were down on Kevin's boat, he had all that black spooge, right? He used 5200 uh, from 3M. You definitely wanna use an adhesive sealant um, for this type of application. And the other thing is that I uh, set Kevin up with is when you put in the through haul, and obviously, my demonstration is real easy because I can get at the both sides. Um, the idea is that you have a good tool and this is one of the tools, right? There's various models of different things that you can use for installing uh, through hull. So this is one of them and this one you could actually um, put your through hull on here and line up the little tabs in there and we could actually uh, put a string in here, leave this on the ground, pull it in, and thread the nut on ourselves, right? But for Kevin, he had somebody to help him. So you've got to goop this up, right? You'd have a backer block in here, and we put it together. The idea is that we can hold this, though. And in fact, if Kevin would have come to see me first, he could have used this tool to hold the old through hull, right? So it didn't move and break the seal and he wouldn't have had to spend two days replacing that whole apparatus. He could have just done the valve, okay? Because bronze typically um, lasts, 
you know, the lifetime of a boat if it's a good quality uh, fitting like he had. So anyways, we, you put this thing in and with all your goop, get your nut on here and you've got to hold it in, right, with something so it doesn't spin. Typically a two person job. Now, if you don't have the right tool, which sometimes happens, I know, and we're always making stuff around here at Marine Tech, one thing you could do is, um, I didn't go to the metal shop, I'm in the wood shop, so I just grabbed a piece of wood. But if you look in here, we've got those two little tabs and that's what makes this tool work, right? That's what holds the through hole. If you take a piece of flat steel and uh, that's the right size and get it in here and put your monkey wrench on it, you could actually hold it uh, with that as well. The disadvantage is you got to have a bunch of pieces of metal laying around, different widths that fit each different through hull. So if you just invest in getting a decent tool right off the bat, you're going to be in good shape. So that's the process. Once he got it in, got it tight with his 5200, then he went back to putting the new valve on, putting the elbow on, and uh, reattaching that hose. Okay, so. Okay, there you have it. This is kind of our wrap up. This was kind of a backward segment. We started with the finished product on Kevin's boat and uh, some of the tools that he used, custom tools, and then all the way in here to this demonstration on how we saved him or would have saved him a ton of time and frustration by just knowing what to do. Uh, by having you know some tools, A, to hold the through hole in the beginning, but B, if you are in a jam, how making a little wooden plug for centering, taking a hole saw, drilling that off, boom, done. Reinstall the new one, you know, just like that. So uh, hopefully you learned something and I hope that you don't have uh, through holes that are in such inconvenient locations that you gotta do this or that are so stuck, but it happens. So thanks for watching, hope you learned something and we'll get more out to you as soon as we can. See you next time.